Okay, so I have this very um, cute picture with um, hearts and whatnot, and I want to export it so that it can be uh, put on a web page. And the thing about the web is it only accepts certain types of files, so it's always good with whatever file uh, type you have created to export it in a way that's um, going to work on the web where you'll be sure about it. And Photoshop Elements makes that very simple. All you have to do is go to File, Save for Web, and then it presents you with this image and you can just click OK uh, and take what it does for default. But what it does here is it shows you the original image which is usually much larger and then the compressed image for the web. And often, so you can see this is at the bottom it shows this is 2.4 megabytes this JPEG is 69 uh, kilobytes, so quite a bit smaller, and the quality looks very similar. Um, now, another option would have been to go with a GIF, and in fact, most as a, a rule of thumb for a photograph a J or anything complicated, a JPEG is usually better in that it can create higher quality for smaller size as compared to a GIF, the other most popular web uh, graphic format. And GIFs are good for simple drawings uh, and basic shapes. So in the case of shapes and drawings, a GIF will give you a higher quality and smaller file than a JPEG. Now this one is unique because it has elements of both basic drawings and a photo, uh, two photos. So let's see, so the JPEG is 69K and notice the quality is 80% which is pretty typical these days it's often 80 to 100 because speeds on the web have increased so file size is not as important. Now if we put it to GIF uh, the quality, it's hard to probably see in this video but the quality goes down and becomes a little more grainy and the size goes down slightly um, so we'll probably we'll just go with a JPEG, a little higher quality even though the size is just slightly bigger. So then all I do is I click um, OK and then it pay attention to where that file is being saved and I go ahead and save it and that's how you export files for the web with Photoshop Elements. It's very simple.